just a matter of hours, a key vote that could dramatically change Florida's abortion law today. House lawmakers are expected to pass a measure that would ban most abortions after six weeks of pregnancy, sending it to the governor's desk. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman joins us live in Orlando. Mark, already those against the bill are making their voices heard. We've seen several groups rallying against the measure in the state's capital, which has resulted in some arrests. Emotions are running high as lawmakers are expected to give final approval to a bill that would further restrict abortions across the state. It's been a week filled with protests in Tallahassee. This, as the Florida House, is on the verge of passing legislation that would ban abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. This is an extremist ban that will deny health care to thousands of women. Many women don't even know that they're pregnant at six weeks, especially if the pregnancy is unintended. The measure receiving backlash from groups calling it an attack on reproductive rights. That includes the leader of the Florida Democratic Party, who was arrested after the state Senate passed the bill last week. This is a human issue in dealing with our health care access and our health care rights. Supporters of the bill say it's designed to protect the lives of unborn children. The measure is expected to pass in the Republican-controlled House and has received support from the governor. We are proud to be pro-family and we are proud to be pro-life in the state of Florida. DeSantis is expected to sign the bill once it reaches his desk. Democrats, meanwhile, say they're going to do whatever they can to fight the measure. Today's session gets underway at 9 this morning. We're now reporting live in downtown Orlando. Mark Lehman getting results. New 6.